Hello everyone. Welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about change detection function in Angular unit test case. Before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch part 18 of this tutorial series where we have discussed about the spy on method in Angular unit test case. So let's understand what is the change detection in Angular unit test case and how it is useful for writing the test cases. So change detection as the name says like it used to detect the changes made into the angular application and those changes like to reflect or to identify into the angular unit test case side we use the change detection and it is a backbone of the angular framework and each component has its own change detector. So like even when we create angular component and if we want to identify some changes we use the change detection. Angular can detect when data changes in the component and can re-render the view to display the update, updated data. Angular makes sure the data in the component and the view are always in sync with each other and that is done using the change detection method. Change detection means updating the view whenever the data changes like if we are using the two way data binding. So in that case like when we do, uh, like make any changes in like there is any property if that property value change into the component side so same reflect into the view and that is done using the change detection. So now let's understand how we utilize it into the like in angular unit test case. So what I have done here like if you will go into the component so I have one method called student school result and like so here what I have done I have taken a one variable called student result and I am passing it and from here I am returning that particular value and apart from that one what I have done into the like HTML side so I have taken a one button and that button name is the get result and on this click event I am calling that student result so here like if you will see what so basically this method should be this student school result so let's take it so on like on get result button what we are doing we are uh, calling this method and here what we are doing we are uh, assigning that particular like either it's a pass or fail into the student result and here we are assigning that value in the h1 uh, html element so now same thing we want to capture into the angular side sorry in angular unit test case side so here what we have to do first first we have to take this html element so for that one first let's define so for that one let i'm going to take variable as a h1 and this should be html element so that object i have defined now next what we have to do in the before each and we know like before each a method like a, it run um, like just before the every uh, test cases so now here let's define h1 equal to fixture dot native element dot native element like we are going to create an object of that particular html element so query selector and inside this one what we have to do we have to define the h1 element so basically what we are doing we are creating an object of the h1 element now next what we have to do we have to write the test case so let's uh, write that particular test case name give the test case name like verify the verify the h1 element value now So inside this one what we have to do first we have to call the component dot student school result and expect what we have to do h1 dot text content like so when we click on this method so this value will be something because we are assigning we are assigning to the student result and that same value we are assigning into the h1 element so h1 dot text content dot to be component dot student result so let's save it 
so at point of this time we have two test case now there should be three test cases so let's wait for the result and then we'll see what the output is coming and we can see here now two test cases passing and one is failing so let's go on the browser and here we can see like our new test case that is verify the h1 element is failing and what it is expecting it is expecting null but we are assigning as a fail and why it is happening because currently this h1 dot text content is not like it is not identifying the value like the value is change so basically like to identify that particular value is change or not what we have to do we have to use fixer dot detect changes so in this condition like we use the detect changes like if there is any dom value changes from the component side so to identify like that particular dom element value is change or not we have to use the detect change method so now it at point of this time like when we call this method this student result uh, value is we are assigning and then h1 element like this a dom element value is changing so to identify the dom element value we use the detect changes now let's save the changes at point of this time like it should say three test case is pass so this is the way like we use the detect changes so now we can see the result t3 test case is passing if you will go on the browser and we can see like get result and it is failing because uh, like um, we have given the value like if you will see here we are assigning 10 20 and based on that it is like fail let's go on the browser and we can see our test case is passing so this is the way we use the change detection method in angular unit test case so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you